everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning. I hope all of you are well. This morning I'm reading from Galatians 4 and I'm reading from verse 4. And it says, But when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. One thing that is very important here is that God sent his son at a very specific time to be born by a woman on this earth. You know, sometimes it might feel to us that things that are happening around us are out of God's control. But He controls everything. He controls the timing of everything. You know, it might not be for us at a, a particular time or a comfortable time or a, a reasonable time. But you know, when God does things, He does it according to His timing. And it might not suit us, but it suits God perfectly. And when we see a bigger picture of that, we will most probably understand everything happens according to what God says and it's perfect, actually it's done in order. Just as when he sent his son Jesus Christ into this world, it was in the fullness of time. And you know, when things go wrong around you and things happen around you that's not right, you know, you might think that God is not fully in control. But today I want to tell you, God stays in control. Even if things might not work out for you today, as you planned it, or as you might like it, God still stays God, and He's in control of everything. And that will be my prayer, that you can relax today in that, knowing God is still in control, and everything is according to His timing. Let's pray. Lord, I want to pray for everybody that's watching today, that we will understand that you have a time, and your time is perfect. It's in the fullness of time that things happen. It might not be the perfect time for us. But Lord, you know time and things that must, must happen in time. And Lord, thank you that you are with us in this time. And you are in control of everything that happens. There's nothing that happens outside of your control. And thank you for the knowing that you are in control. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.